is money created. You may have heard that today nearly all the money in circulation, both tangible and intangible, is digitally created or just imputed into the bank's computer. Initially, it was the central banks that would mint the notes and the coins or the ones that created money. They still do so today, but by doing so alone, the likelihood of bank runs occurring is higher. A bank run is a situation where every depositor or a very high number of them demand their money all at once. So digital money is debt and this is how it works. Today the banks now have the license to lend you and I money and that may not and that money may not be available to the bank. So when you want to buy a house especially there's a good chance that the money you have borrowed from the bank was imputed into the bank's ledger and not someone's deposit. As simple as that money has been created and you can evidently see that with that loan, which is the money, you have taken possession of your house. The person you bought it from goes on to use the money for other economic activities. Now there is controversy about this digital money and its consequences. You may have heard about the 2008 housing crisis and the current housing boom that has continued unabated regardless. Some argue that the banks should not have lent so much to the housing sector and should have and should stop doing so. Others point to the thousands of trillions of assets that the digital money has propped up and say that they may come crashing down. Some say that our children will have to pay higher taxes as a result. Some say there is not very much to worry about as it is only interests that we need to pay on those debts. And what is the solution? We think that the analysis of how we got to where we are as well as the history is very much right on point but as always we are we are seeing the consequences through the recorded experiences that are probably not as not sufficiently relevant as a result we may not do well in providing sound solutions because we are not dealing or judging the current situation with an open mind and also not looking largely at the situation. The financial markets, including the stock markets, can actually lend those same financial instruments that nearly all those thousands or trillions of dollar value are held in to sound businesses on Main Street or even convert them to equity. It is obvious that when they do so, wages will be paid and possibly mortgage defaults kept at bay. The same Main Street businesses are not, an, are not essentially the prominent ones, will at some point also invest in research and development indirectly or directly. Governments can be proactive and put in place legislation or the necessary framework, checks and balances to ensure that further underpinning of those instruments 
are in place. By that, we mean ensuring that we all show with the, those assets and indeed the consequences. There may be nasty consequences if those assets remain on one part of the economy and not sufficiently spread out. Just as the clever digital money practice has taken place, a clever use of it should be in place and not the fear of, of consequences that are based on previous experiences and theories that are not sufficiently about the situation at hand. So the solution is to keep spreading it with care, obviously. Individuals and businesses should try to transact through channels that their funds will have an impact on and benefit them as well. We have started the clever creation of money, but we have just not gone further to keep the created money circulated. This is so because many entities do not make use of the channels, mediums and markets where much of all the digitally created money resides and are very much active. So here at, at, at S Gains for Keeps, we have been trying to get people and businesses into such channels through our Equity for Keeps program. So through, through with the link you can see on your screen right now, you can sign up and register and be clever like the banks. Once you sign up, we will issue you with up to 10,000 shares of our company and you can go ahead and keep transacting the way you would transact, pay your rent, your mortgages, but you come back to the site and click on the funds, funds recall tab. There you will let us know who benefited from the money, your rent or your mortgages, and then we'll go back and negotiate with them to invest them in the same share, the same equity we have given you, the same 10,000 the same pool of equity we have given you. That way, you are participating in the medium, the channels and the markets where the digital money resides. Thank you very much for watching this video. Uh, don't fail to subscribe to our channel. And uh, hit that subscribe button as well. Thank you very much.